Hi, I'm Steve at American Glass of Fairmont. Uh-ohs happen, and to keep those uh-ohs from becoming oh-nos for quality auto glass chip and repair and replacement, call me at American Glass of Fairmont, where we use quality OEM replacement glass and urethane. Can't come to us? We'll come to you. Our free mobile service will have your uh-ohs fixed in no time. Here at American Glass, we are a locally owned auto glass repair and replacement company. Free estimates, insurance company approved, American Glass, 815 East Blue Earth Avenue of Fairmont. You've prepared for your financial future, and while your goals haven't changed, the economy has. So where do you go from here? As an Ameriprise Financial Advisor, I can help you identify practical steps to get you back on track. Come in for a complimentary initial review and get a second opinion on your finances. Call us today at 507-238-9722 to schedule your complimentary review. I'm Dr. Scott Burtis. For over 20 years, Burtis Chiropractic Center has been providing the best in natural health care to the Fairmont area. Whether it is a gentle touch needed in caring for infants with colic or chronic ear infections, school students seeking to improve their performance, senior citizens wanting to maintain their active lifestyle, or we needed the latest in diagnostics to assist in difficult conditions like migraines or fibromyalgia, Burtis Chiropractic Center has what it takes. At Burtis Chiropractic Center, we're here for you. Get healthy, stay healthy, Burtis Chiropractic Center. Good vision and healthy eyes are two of your most precious possessions. Associate Optometry will give your eyes the care and attention they deserve. With three optometrists, Dr. Paul Seibert, James Bush, and Spencer Seibert, a surgical specialist and a caring staff, Associate Optometry offers comprehensive eye exams and has the latest treatments available no matter what your eye care need is. We offer a large selection of frames in all price ranges, plus we feature the latest contact lenses. Associate Optometry in Fairmont and Blue Earth, quality vision, care that's affordable. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. Oh, oh I love oh, this guy. All right. Here's it is for you. Thank you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. See Century 21 Northland Realty for all your real estate needs. Good morning from Weather Watch. Hope we've got some sun worshippers out there because today starts our second straight week of record highs. Not a cloud in sight and temperatures in the triple digits. Hope you have AC, folks, because today you're going to need it. Summer's coming. Can your AC handle the heat? Call your local Daikin Comfort Pro before it's too late. Just walking to my car this morning made me feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. Honey, toast is ready. Daikin. Comfort for life. Your local Daikin Comfort Pro is Crest Refrigeration. Call Crest Refrigeration today for all your heating, air conditioning, and indoor air quality needs, or visit us on the web. Be sure to ask about our special financing and rebate offers available now on your new Daikin Comfort System. Discover clean, pure, great-tasting water for your home or business with Culligan Water. Our water softening systems eliminate the materials in hard water, including calcium and magnesium, as well as microscopic impurities and chemical elements. Whether you choose a softener, reverse osmosis system, water cooler, or any of our other innovative products, you'll receive many great benefits. Your ice cubes will be clearer, and all of your favorite beverages will taste better. Culligan Water does more than just provide clean drinking water. Softened water means cleaner bathrooms, kitchens, dishes, and laundry. You'll also notice improvements in the appearance of your skin and hair. Culligan can save you money, too. With a Culligan water softener, you'll use less salt, water, and electricity, which can reduce your water heating bills by up to 29%. Call today for a free water analysis from your Culligan man. Mohawk Flooring is your total flooring resource, and Doolittle's Carpet and Paints is your total floor store. Mohawk Smart Strand Silk is the only luxuriously soft carpet with built-in lifetime stain resistance that will never wear or wash off. Mohawk Hardwood protected by Armor Max with Scotchgard Advanced Repel Technology. Beautiful on the inside, tough on the outside. Cover your spaces with Mohawk Flooring, your total flooring resource. Visit Doolittle's Carpet and Paints today. See our new showroom for the finest selection of carpet and Locally owned and operated, Fairmont Body Shop is your go-to full-service auto body shop. 
Our professionals will have your car restored to pre-accident condition and back on the road in no time. Our goal is to create a hassle-free experience for you. Services include paint and complete auto body collision repair. At Fairmont Body Shop, our main concern is safety and quality results. If you're in an accident, make sure you work with a body shop you can trust. Call or stop in today for your free estimate. Fairmont Body Shop, your collision repair experts. At Farm Bureau, when we talk about protecting what matters most, we're not just talking about things with walls and things with wheels. We're talking about people, your family. Everything that's important to you is important to us. That's why our agents are ready to help protect your future and give you peace of mind today. Visit us online or just stop by to see how Farm Bureau agents make insurance simple. In Fairmont, Minnesota, contact David Husset to see how he makes insurance simple. Frontier gives you a two-year price guarantee on internet. And now for a limited time, you'll also get a $200 Amazon.com gift card when you switch to Frontier. It's just another reason to love the provider that also gives you a free Wi-Fi modem. The choice is easy. Get Frontier high-speed internet now for $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service and two-year agreement. Plus, get a $200 Amazon.com gift card. What are you waiting for? This offer won't last. Switch today. Bring your video project into focus at Gemini Studios in downtown Fairmont. Whether it's a training video for your company or a promotional DVD for your organization, Gemini Studios has the knowledge and experience to create a professional video presentation. The helpful staff will listen to your needs and work with you to produce a DVD that will effectively reach your target audience. Gemini Studios offers a wide range of services, from video transfer to creative training and promotional DVDs. Let Gemini Studios bring your video project into focus. Hi, I'm Brad Cohn, manager of Graham Tire in Fairmont. At Graham Tire, we want to earn your business. If you're looking for a great new stereo for your car, truck, or recreational vehicle, a home theater system and TV to enjoy with the family, or maybe a remote starter for the chilly winter months, Midwest Audio Video at Fairmont is here to meet your personal, home, or commercial needs. We're sure to have what you need or do our best to get it for you. Enjoy the helpful, friendly customer service you've come to expect and the knowledgeable experience, sales, installation, and service you deserve. Adam at Midwest Audio Video can hook you up with what you need. Olson Rentals is your equipment and party rental headquarters. Whether you need to rent earth-moving equipment or a party tent, Olson's has just what you need. In the market to buy instead of rent, Olson Rentals also sells name brand equipment by Dixon, Honda, Husqvarna, Alcoda, and Broilmaster. Olson's has also expanded their products and services to include small engine repair. Stop in today and let Olson's knowledgeable, friendly staff help you with all your rental, retail, and small engine repair needs. This summer, don't send a fan to do an air conditioner's job. Call your local Daikin Comfort Pro before it's too late. Daikin. Comfort for life. Your local Daikin Comfort Pro is Crest Refrigeration. Call Crest Refrigeration today for all your heating, air conditioning, and indoor air quality needs, or visit us on the web. Be sure to ask about our special financing and rebate offers available now on your new Daikin Comfort System. We have a rich community heritage here in southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. It's the people, our family, friends, and neighbors who help make our community what it is. Peterson Anthony Insurance has been a part of this community for nearly 100 years, building strong relationships with our customers and protecting what's most important to you. We're invested in our community. We're invested in you. Peterson Anthony Insurance, your possessions, your protection, our business. Hello, Richards? Help! If your vehicle won't go, call Richards for a tow. We offer 24-hour towing service with wheel lift and flatbed trucks. In need of repair? 
Richards has skilled mechanics and an excellent service facility to handle all your car repair needs. Quick, convenient, reliable. Richards will get you back on the road fast. Richards Auto Repair and Towing, 410 East Blue Earth Avenue, Fairmont. Stop watching your money fly out the roof, windows, and walls of your home or business. Satis Insulation can handle any job, large or small. Stops the money drain with high quality R-value spray and foam insulation. Factory trained and certified, Satis Insulation specializes in ag buildings and new construction and remodeling projects. Call Satis Insulation for a free estimate today and start saving money tomorrow. Satis Insulation, the better choice in insulation. Squeegee Brothers of Southern Minnesota has been cleaning windows for decades. If you haven't hired us yet, let me give you three good reasons why you should. Most accidents occur around the home. Let us safely clean your windows for you. Your time is valuable, so let Squeegee Brothers have your windows cleaned before you get home from work. Sparkling and clean windows magnify the beauty of your home. Call Squeegee Brothers today for your free estimate. Since 1977, Tate's Tree Service has been offering complete professional tree care services for commercial, residential, and agricultural properties. With an ISA certified arborist on staff, Tate's Tree Service offers risk assessment and management strategies, crane assisted tree removal, lot and land clearing, pruning, and stump removal. They have the best equipment and expertise to get the job done quickly and safely. Tate's thanks the Southern Minnesota and Northern Iowa communities they have proudly served since 1977. Why not give them a call today? You believe faith and finances go together, and so do we. At Thrivent Financial, we know you have goals and that your values guide your decisions. We can help you make wise money choices with products, services, and financial strategies based on your needs. And as a Thrivent member, you have the chance to strengthen where you live, work, and worship. Ask your local Thrivent Financial representative how you can connect your faith and finances for good. The Visual Identity Vault, formerly Imageware of Fairmont and Sign Solutions of Mankato, has opened a retail location in historic downtown Fairmont. The Visual Identity Vault's rebranding comes with enhanced products and services for all, from screen printing, embroidery and sublimated apparel, to promotional products and gifts. The Visual Identity Vault can serve your individual or business needs. Stop into 206 Downtown Plaza or like us on Facebook. Call us today, 507-238-9793, where our staff knows the combination to unlock your visual identity. Hey, and welcome again, everybody, to another Gemini Studios Mid-Cotton Cable Network. Hey, it's Cardinal football tonight, and the Cards hosting the Bell Plain Tigers. The Cardinals come in 5-1 and one on the season. The Bell Plain Tigers, 3-3 three and three on the season. Kind of a misleading 3-3 three and three as they have not been healthy all year. And expecting their starting quarterback, who played last week, to start again this week. He threw 54 passes in that last game only. Only 54? Yeah. I'd have thrown 55. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Trippinoli here in the Gemini crew. hi -oh. From uh, Honey Field. As last week, the Cardinals defeated the Worthington Trojans 42-13 Bell Plain. And, um, one last week over Northwood Young America. Announcing the seniors here. Nate Kallenbach there with his dad, number six. Number eight, Sam Schwieger with his parents. Brady Allen, number 13. And number 18 for the Cardinals. Colby Cool. With his parents. Scott and Lisa. There you go. And Noah Quirin with his mom. Number 24 for the Cardinals. Nicholas Sigar with his parents. Number 50, Cole Stuber. Or Colin Stuber, excuse me. His parents. Number 52 for the Cardinals. Jacob Ron or excuse me, Cameron Saxon, number 55, Connor Tortson, number 56, Alex Pitcher, 
Number 65, Riley Clary. Number 77, Justin Burney. <clears throat> and number 95. I think that is Devin That's Johnson. 85, I believe. Yep. And did you see? Did you see the flip of the coin, Oli? I did not. I saw something else that was shiny. Good shot of the parents there, and the players. Well, looks like Bell Plains setting up to receive here. Bell Plain in Section Two, Triple A. They're following Glencoe Silver Lake. Uh, Glencoe Silver Lake, five and one in their section. And then it's Providence Academy, and three and three in Holy Family Catholic Academy. Right now, the Cardinals ranked number seven in the state, and right behind number six, Glencoe Silver Lake. I think Glencoe Silver Lake was a class above us last year. Glencoe Silver Lake, quite a few good games with them. These two teams met back in 2007 with the Cardinals coming out on top, 26-19. Before that, or no, the Bell Plain Tigers coming out on top, 26-19. And then back in 2013, the Cardinals shut out Bell Plain, 26-0 in the Section 3 AAA championship game. Luke Becker was... Big that night, six catches for almost 100 yards. And a 21-yard first quarter TD catch from Spencer Tribbeck. Chirp was 10 for 22, 135 yards. He had a one-yard third quarter TD run to give the Cards a lead. Cards were two-seated in that section. Bell Plain was number one. Set to kick off. Quarterback kicker, Nate Kallenbach. Nice high end over end kick. Going to come down inside the 10 yard line. And a good play down there by number 29. Jordan Walter. Down there on kickoff coverage. So the Cardinals will start on defense here. And it'll be Kallenbach in the backfield there. Cornerback, him and Queering and Schwiger and Allen. In that defensive line, it's Garrett Meyer and Justin Byrne, Dominic Ortiz, Thomas Johnson. Linebackers, Jordan Walter, Collins Stuber, and Zach Ring now. For the Tiger offense, they're led by number two, Carson Ladd, and they throw the ball a lot, expect a lot. A ball in the air tonight. Quick toss out, catch is made, not much there. Good hustle, good tackles by That's Kallenbach. Right. And Mr. Walter there again, too. Last week, mud everywhere over in Worthington. It rained this morning a little bit here in Fairmont. Left a few puddles. Should field the, in great condition. I was gonna say, should make the field great turf right now. Three receivers here near side for Ladd. Carson Ladd, a six foot senior. He brings it down. He's got some running room to the sideline. He'll slide forward over the 25. Gonna bring up third down. Out there at running back, Marcus Walsh, who's led the team in rushing this year for a bell plane. He had 162 yards against Worthington in week five. Third and five here for the Tigers at the Bell Plain 26 yard line. Same formation, trips here near side. Looking outside, passes thrown out there and short of the intended receiver, number 19. Good coverage there by the Cardinals. Tyler O'Brien, the intended target on that one. St. Croix Lutheran is number one in our class, followed by Piers, Sibley East, Spectrum, Rochester Lords, Glencoe Silver Lake, Fairmont, Perham, Annandale, and Esco. Punting situation here for the Tigers. Wyatt Queering back about his own 40-yard line. 
Good snap, kick is away, a wobbly short spiral. Fair catch signal by Query, and he bobbles it for the moment. Cards will start with good field position at their own 45 yard line. It'll be Kallenbach leading out the offense here. Nate, good game last week. As he has completed 100 of 151 passes this year for 1,300 yards and 15 TDs. Out there joining him in the backfield, Mario Maldonado, number four. Queering will be split in, along with Sam Schwieger. Two receivers, top of your screen, motion this way. Fake that way, Kallenbach keeps it himself. He's got some running room up the middle. He's gonna pick up about six, seven yards. Good blocking by that line. And we got an injury right away to Maldonado. And that doesn't look good when the teammates are saying, come out there quickly, Ole. No, this is, uh, that's not good. Hey, some proud supporters of Cardinal Youth activities include Culligan Water, Olson Reynolds, Bowmore Lanes, Do a Little Carpet and Plain, Paint, excuse me, First Farmers and Merchants Bank, AOK -okay Plumbing and Heating, Bank Midwest, Fairmont Photo Press, Fairmont Body Shop, Crest Refrigeration, Farm Bureau Insurance, Burris Chiropractic, Fairmont Family Dentistry, Richards Auto Repair and Towing, Satis Insulation, and Thriving Financial, and Tate's Fee Service. Hey, a note to John, the tech guy in the truck. Those mics in the truck are quite loud in our headsets here. Can you turn those down a little bit? 10-11 to go, an injury by a Cardinal on the field there as they continue to work on the injured person. And we could take a break here and we'll be back. Fairmont Ford believes in good old-fashioned customer service, value pricing on all of our products and services, coupled with modern facilities and a trained staff with 433 years of experience. This makes for the best customer service experience around. We are here to serve you, whether you are in the market for a new or used vehicle, need service on your vehicle, a new set of tires, or in need of a great body shop. We look forward to serving you just like we have for over 100 years. Fairmont Ford is here six days a week for your convenience, and we do it all big or small. Fairmont Ford proudly supports area youth events. Since 1983, Day Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling has offered the highest quality service, products, and care for both residential and commercial clients in the Fairmont area. Their experienced, factory-trained professionals can help you with all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, kitchen and bathroom remodeling, and new construction. Are you dreaming of building a new home or remodeling the home you love? Day Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling would like to help make your home the warm, comfortable environment of your dreams. Improve your air quality with a new air purifier or improve your comfort and efficiency with a new furnace and air conditioner. Their technicians also install in-floor radiant heating, fireplaces, water conditioning, and reverse osmosis drinking systems. Looking to professionally remodel your kitchen or bathroom? Day Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling will assist you with your remodel project from start to finish. Day Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling technicians are available 24-7 to cover your emergency service needs. Their Hydro Jetter Drain Cleaning Service can eliminate clogs quickly and have everything flowing smoothly in no time. Quality service, quality products, quality care. Stop by Day Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling today. Hi, I'm Steve at American Glass of Fairmont. Uh-ohs happen, and to keep those uh-ohs from becoming oh-nos for quality auto glass chip and repair replacement, call me at American Glass of Fairmont, where we use quality OEM replacement glass and urethanes. Can't come to us? We'll come to you. Our free mobile service will have your uh-ohs fixed in no time. Here at American Glass, we are a locally owned auto glass repair and replacement company. Free estimates, insurance company approved, American Glass, 815 East Blue Earth Avenue of Fairmont. You've prepared for your financial future, and while your goals haven't changed, the economy has. So where do you go from here? As an Ameriprise Financial Advisor, I can help you identify practical steps to get you back on track. Come in for a complimentary initial review and get a second opinion on your finances. Call us today at 507-238-9722 to schedule your complimentary review. I'm Dr. Scott Burtis. 
For over 20 years, Burtis Chiropractic Center has been providing the best in natural health care to the Fairmont area. Whether it is a gentle touch needed in caring for infants with colic or chronic ear infections, school students seeking to improve their performance, senior citizens wanting to maintain their active lifestyle, or we needed the latest in diagnostics to assist in difficult conditions like migraines or fibromyalgia, Burtis Chiropractic Center has what it takes. At Burtis Chiropractic Center, we're here for you. Get healthy, stay healthy, Burtis Chiropractic Center. Good vision and healthy eyes are two of your most precious possessions. Associate Optometry will give your eyes the care and attention they deserve. With three optometrists, Dr. Paul Seibert, James Bush, and Spencer Seibert, a surgical specialist and a caring staff, Associate Optometry offers comprehensive eye exams and has the latest treatments available no matter what your eye care need is. We offer a large selection of frames in all price ranges, plus we feature the latest contact lenses. Associate Optometry in Fairmont and Blue Earth, quality vision, care that's affordable. Jason? Before you got on that plane, I had to tell you. Hey, Jason. Good. You need to hear this, too. You got the house. Oh, oh I love this guy. All right. Here's it for you. Thank you. Century 21 agents. Smarter, bolder, faster. See Century 21 Northland Realty for all your real estate needs. Good morning from Weatherwatch. Hope we've got some sun worshippers out there, because today starts our second straight week of record highs. Not a cloud in sight and temperatures in the triple digits. Hope you have AC, folks, because today you're going to need it. Summer's coming. Can your AC handle the heat? Call your local Daikin Comfort Pro before it's too late. Just walking to my car this morning made me feel like an ant under a magnifying glass. Honey, toast is ready. Daikin. Comfort for life. Your local Daikin Comfort Pro is Crest Refrigeration. Call Crest Refrigeration today for all your heating, air conditioning, and indoor air quality needs, or visit us on the web. Be sure to ask about our special financing and rebate offers available now on your new Daikin Comfort System. Discover clean, pure, great-tasting water for your home or business with Culligan Water. Our water softening systems eliminate the materials in hard water, including calcium and magnesium, as well as microscopic impurities and chemical elements. Whether you choose a softener, reverse osmosis system, water cooler, or any of our other innovative products, you'll receive many great benefits. Your ice cubes will be clearer, and all of your favorite beverages will taste better. Culligan Water does more than just provide clean drinking water. Softened water means cleaner bathrooms, kitchens, dishes, and laundry. You'll also notice improvements in the appearance of your skin and hair. Culligan can save you money, too. With a Culligan water softener, you'll use less salt, water, and electricity, which can reduce your water heating bills by up to 29%. Call today for a free water analysis from your Culligan man. Mohawk Flooring is your total flooring resource, and Doolittle's Carpet and Paints is your total floor store. Mohawk Smart Strand Silk is the only luxuriously soft carpet with built-in lifetime stain resistance that will never wear or wash off. Mohawk Hardwood protected by Armor Max with Scotchgard Advanced Repel Technology. Beautiful on the inside, tough on the outside. Cover your spaces with Mohawk Flooring, your total flooring resource. Visit Doolittle's Carpet and Paints today. See our new showroom for the finest selection of carpet and Locally owned and operated, Fairmont Body Shop is your go-to full-service auto body shop. Our professionals will have your car restored to pre-accident condition and back on the road in no time. Our goal is to create a hassle-free experience for you. Services include paint and complete auto body collision repair. At Fairmont Body Shop, our main concern is safety and quality results. If you're in an accident, make sure you work with a body shop you can trust. Call or stop in today for your free estimate. Fairmont Body Shop, your collision repair experts. At Farm Bureau, when we talk about protecting what matters most, we're not just talking about things with walls and things with wheels. We're talking about people, your family. Everything that's important to you is important to us. That's why our agents are ready to help protect your future and give you peace of mind today. Visit us online or just stop by to see how Farm Bureau agents make insurance simple. In Fairmont, Minnesota, contact David Husset to see how he makes insurance simple. 
Frontier gives you a two-year price guarantee on internet. And now for a limited time, you'll also get a $200 Amazon.com gift card when you switch to Frontier. It's just another reason to love the provider that also gives you a free Wi-Fi modem. The choice is easy. Get Frontier high-speed internet now for $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service and two-year agreement. Plus, get a $200 Amazon.com gift card. What are you waiting for? This offer won't last. Switch today. Bring your video project into focus at Gemini Studios in downtown Fairmont. Whether it's a training video for your company or a promotional DVD for your organization, Gemini Studios has the knowledge and experience to create a professional video presentation. The helpful staff will listen to your needs and work with you to produce a DVD that will effectively reach your target audience. Gemini Studios offers a wide range of services, from video transfer to creative training and promotional DVDs. Let Gemini Studios bring your video project into focus. Hi, I'm Brad Cohn, manager of Graham Tire in Fairmont. At Graham Tire, we want to earn your business. Welcome back to Mahoney Field as they have helped off the injured player, Mario Maldonado. Oh, you wish him the best. Looked like a leg injury. He was taken off on the gurney. And another note, it's his birthday on Friday the 13th. He'll remember this one forever. Kallenbach looking deep. He's got a receiver down there. Schwieger, and it's knocked out of his hands at the last moment. Number 10 on the play for Bell Plain was right there running with Schwieger. Jerk M Jake Mercado. 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 Yeah, Mercado. Thank you. Thanks thank you. <laughs> you got the Bell Plain cameraman, coaches film next to you. Boy, that time on the clock looks good. John the Tech guy, you're, you're amazing. 10.05, I won't have to say that, yeah. Hand off up the middle, and that'll be first down for the Cardinals. Latrell Huey with the carry. He's seen some playing action this year. He'll get a lot more with Maldonado out. First and 10, ball on the Tiger. 42 yard line. Last year, these Tigers got to the first round of state in the quarterfinal there. Cardinals have made the section championship against Jackson County Central. Colin Box got a receiver open there. Catch is made, querying a sure two hand grab. Driven out of bounds by Tyler O'Brien. Here's State Farm, John Corsmo replay. Nice ball here by Kallenbach. Queering with those sure hands and knocked out of bounds. Cards on the Tiger, 31 yard line, first down. Motion here. Kallenbach looking downfield, got a receiver short and that's tipped. And Another nice play by number 10 for Bell Plain. Once again, Jake how'd, how'd that Mercado. One Mercado. Yeah, there we go. Right on the ball. Feeling like we'll be calling that name a lot. Good coverage. Bell Plain, three and three on the season. They lost to Tri City United and Marshall. Who hasn't lost to Marshall? Uh, St. Peter, they defeated 24 14. Then they defeated Worthington and New Alm, a two game winning streak. Run up the middle and tripped up is Huey. Bell Plain also had to forfeit a game as they had a, a skin disease in Patigo. They lost to, forfeited to Jordan. Thus their three and three record. Last year. They lost the St. Croix Lutheran in the quarterfinal, 32-21. Big play here and a good run. Schwieger, see that one again. Sam Schwieger moves the chains for the Cardinals. 
Just a simple toss out down the line of scrimmage and Schwieger got a couple of good blocks. Good blocking downfield, that's what leads to great runs. Number 21 by the Cardinals with a nice block there. Huey again. Hand off up the middle, Huey. And gain of about three. Those yellow numbers here stand out on that time there too. Good job, John. <laughs> hey, we got numbers. You just see that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now all we got to get is that graphic graphic of the play clock on the field. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we just got to get that next to it. In the first down line. Yep. Receivers everywhere. Kallenbach hands it off and then nope. bobbles it and then gets it back and mm -hmm. a short gain there. 13 on the stop, Bradley Legger. No, if he wanted to hand that one off, it was a looked like a read play and, and he pulled it back and it bobbled up. Yeah, a read. Oh, uh, like, read play. Like the library. Yeah, read. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nice night here. The wind has died down. It. The flag was flapping a little bit earlier. We we're at 59 degrees at 6 o'clock. And right now we're at 53. Kallenbach looking deep in the end zone. He's got Schrieger back there. Catch and signal. No good. And they're going to say he was over the end line. Nice play there. And it ran out of real estate. Look at that play again. And State Farm, John Corzmo replay here. Nice ball, perfect spiral. Oh, I could see it from here. His foot was in. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and I have a Brings much up better down. angle than that official ever did. <laughs> that you did. I just want to make sure that's clear. <laughs> Fork down. Ball on the Tigers' 17-yard line. Cardinals going for it here. Seven yards for a first down. Kallenbach looking downfield. Got good time, and good blocking, and they're going to be short. Uh, he might have of it. the first down. He's right there, and yep. it is. They gave it to him. Good catch. Tony Nuss. That's why I couldn't see it. The cameraman didn't get it. Up. First down, cards. First and goal. In fact, right on the ten-yard line. Nuss with the catch. Kalambako put querying in motion. Fake to him. He'll run it up the middle. Got a lane. It quickly closes. Down to about the 7 8 yard line. I'm going to bring up second and goal. I wonder who washed the uniforms last week, Ole. <laughs> who washed the uniforms? Yeah. They were pretty muddy in the white uniforms of the Cardinals. They went over to Worthington. All those hard working moms. Yeah. I seen one mom and she took them down to the car wash and hung them up in there and took the <laughs> really? sprayer and cleaned the mud off there. Motion again. They give it to the querying this time. He cuts inside a block. Spin move. And at the five, he's driven back by a pair of tigers. Might have been three on that one. Okay, a trio. <laughs> a trio. You got you got younger eyes. Wow, that's gotta be it. No score here in the first quarter. As you can see on the clock, 614 and counting. <laughs> I'm going to laugh at that one. Yes. Third and goal. Ball just on the five yard line. Huey in the backfield with Kallenbach. He's going to roll right, look in the end zone. Toss there, Queering reaches for the goal line. And they're going to say he dropped the ball, an incomplete pass. As Quirin made the initial catch and brought down, the ball came loose. And he reached for the goal line with the ball. 5.51 to go here in the we'll let you, first quarter. The uh, viewer, <laughs> we'll let you, the viewer, be the uh, judgment on that one. Yeah, that play is moving twice as fast as you could see it from up here. And, the official right on the play, right on the end line. Four receivers here near side. Kalambako will roll that way, looking in the end zone. 
Everybody covered well. Kallenbach pulls it down, goes for the corner of the end zone, and flag comes out. We might have a block in the back here. Touchdown is the signal. We'll wait and see. So this will negate the touchdown if the penalty is on the Cardinals. Could be a holding on a defensive receiver or back, but. I would say it looks like Mr. Whitehat is asking the captains of yep. the visitors. That'll be marked off. So uh, they'll move it back five yards. Interesting. A five yard pen. Well, the five penalty would have been from the goal line from the spot oh, of the foul. Right, right, right. So, right, right, yep, right, so right, right. So that's right. right it is. Yeah. <laughs> so fourth down. Kallenbach with Huey in the backfield. Straight drive back this time, looking downfield. Pass over the middle, and that's going to be over the intended receiver, Sam Schrager. So the Tigers hold on fourth down, as did the Cardinals on the initial series. Hey, some proud supporters of Cardinal youth activities include Slumberland, Beamer Companies, Militello Motors, American Glass, Fairmont Ford, Associate Optometry, Lawn Solutions, Perkins Restaurant, Pizza Ranch, Lund Chiropractic, Hertzke Construction, Hometown Sanitation, Ameriprise Financial, Ranch Family Restaurant, and our replay here is in the first half. State Farm, John Corzmo, your agent there. Johnny. So, uh, shotgun formation here for Carson Ladd, the six foot, 165 pound senior. He, he's got a stop pattern there, and that might have been tipped at the line of scrimmage. I believe it was. And Stuber almost had an interception there. Uh, other games going on tonight. Sibley East is hosting given Fairfax Winthrop. Uh, GFW 0-6 on the season. GCC is hosting St. James. Uh, St. James also 0-6 on the season. Ladd looking for some running room and a good job by the Cardinal defense, the ring nail there. Chasing down Ladd. Looked like he was going to pick up a lot of yards, Ole. Yeah, he had uh, room to go, but ring nail had him sighted in from the word go. He attacked it at the line and got him by the uh, laces there. Martin County West and taking on section four, Laverne at Sherburn over there. Martin County West, one and five. Double move here, pass out there, catch is made just in front of the first down mark, first down Tigers. Jordan catch Walter. Made by number eight of Bell playing, and Walter on the tackle. Who was number eight? Jackson Stoffaker. Stoffaker? Stoffaker? Yeah, Stoffaker. Yeah. Hey, even the guy next to you had trouble pronouncing that one. But. You're the guy. Hand off right. up the middle and slipping on the turf. The Tigers might have lost a yard. No score here, first quarter. Cardinals, 5 and 1, a win over Worthington last week, 42 13 in the Mud Bowl. They defeated the Tigers this year at 48 6. Tri City United, 29 27, a three game winning streak. And then they lost to Wasika. Back on September 15th, 14-9. And that's probably one of the closest games Wasika has besides the Marshall game. Looking downfield, Reed is out there and off the receiver's hands. Good coverage by the Cardinals. Tyler O'Brien, the intended receiver. He had it for the moment. That's if only. Stops the clock here. Third and 11. Also. Worthington and Albert Lee are matching up tonight. And St. Peter, who's one and five, is at Wasika, who is five and one on the season. Looking downfield, another double move. Good pressure out there. Catch is made. And he escapes one tackle near the stick. And a flag comes in way across the field on the opposite side of the field. And we'll see what happens here. And they were chasing Ladd there, and he threw it back across the field here. Uh, he 
puts the flag where the spot of the foul was, and then the penalty will be marked from there. Ineligible downfield. So that'll back up the Tigers to just over the 15 yard line. Gonna bring up third and long. Cardinals, one more home game and that'll be MEA week at New Alm. Bell Plain has Albert Lee left on their schedule. Bell Plain needs a win for a move up in their section. Lad, deep drop, straight drop. He's pressured from behind and taken down. Good play there. Number 59 for the Cardinals. Look at this replay again. Just great pressure up the middle and Dominic Ortiz pushed him inside and he had help from the rest of the guys. And Garrett Myron, number 11 there. So query will drop back here as the Tiger punter will be kicking out of his end zone. Isn't that 34? Or no, one. Looks like number one punting for the Yatal. Tiger. Oh, he drops it. The flag comes out too in the end zone. Corian picks it up on the hop. He's got the lane down here on the near sideline. And a good play there by the Tigers. Just inside the 29, the return by Quirin. We'll wait and see what the flag is here. I don't know if they roughed the kicker. As they're coming over to talk to the Cardinals. I'm gonna have a personal foul on the Cardinals. They might have ran into the, that'd be a roughing the kicker and it'll be a first down. So the Cards will have to remain on defense here. I didn't see the kicker get hit. I didn't either. I don't know what the, it could have been something away from the ball too. But the kicker bobbled the snap of the punt and he got it off late. And there were quite a few Cardinals there. But it could have been away from the ball though too. It might have been on the opposite side of the field. And they get first and 10. First and 10, the ball marked out to the 26 yard line of the Tigers. Receivers both sides of the ball here. Give to the up back, he, he got about three yards, make it four. Huskies leading 14-0. They're taking on St. James. Fake out here, receiver, has some running room, cuts back inside and an ankle tackle and breaks that. And he's got some running room and a, maybe a touchdown saving tackle there by Ringnell. First down into Cardinal territory. What a run by number eight. Jackson Stoffaker. Stoffaker with Stoffaker. A, and a hurry up offense here by the Tigers. Ball on the Cardinal 49, first and 10. Hey, Chirpin only here from Mahoney Field. Handoff, looking for some running room outside. A good play by Myron. Number 29 for the Cardinals. Jordan Walter there first, slowed him up, then Myron wrapped him up. Good defensive play there. Yeah, especially when they did a hurry up, trying to catch Cardinals off guard there. Ladd will send two receivers each side. Looking downfield over the middle, catch is made near the first down mark and then driven back. Stoffiger, a target here for Ladd. Tigers a yard short with an almost under a minute to go here in the first quarter. No score as of yet.
Long time in that huddle by the Tigers. Play clock stopped at 14 for some reason. Now it's on down to 10. <laughs> now it's at eight. It went Skip nine. <laughs> yeah. Quarterback draw, and he's going to be short of the stick. I'm going to bring up fourth and short. Good play by Bernie in there and the rest of the crew. Fourth and short for the Tigers, and they might let the clock run out here. Let's see. We got 13 on the so game clock, 15 on the play clock, so they Watch could let it run out. Might try to draw us, too. Yep, that's the plan, it looks like. Good read. Good defensive read there, partner. Hey, I have my moments. As the quarter comes to an end here, no score here from Mahoney Field. Hey, Chirp here along with the Gemini crew from Fairmont, Minnesota on a beautiful night for football. Hey, stay tuned. We'll be back for the second quarter. If you're looking for a great new stereo for your car, truck, or recreational vehicle, a home theater system and TV to enjoy with the family, or maybe a remote starter for the chilly winter months, Midwest Audio Video of Fairmont is here to meet your personal, home, or commercial needs. We're sure to have what you need or do our best to get it for you. Enjoy the helpful, friendly customer service you've come to expect and the knowledgeable experience, sales, installation, and service you deserve. Adam at Midwest Audio Video can hook you up with what you need. Olson Rentals is your equipment and party rental headquarters. Whether you need to rent earth-moving equipment or a party tent, Olson's has just what you need. In the market to buy instead of rent, Olson Rentals also sells name brand equipment by Dixon, Honda, Husqvarna, Alcoda, and Broilmaster. Olson's has also expanded their products and services to include small engine repair. Stop in today and let Olson's knowledgeable, friendly staff help you with all your rental, retail, and small engine repair needs. Welcome back to Mahoney Field. Chirp here along with Oli. hi -o. Fourth and short for the Tigers. Straight drop, looking downfield. Pressure coming up the middle. And a great play, and a flag comes out. Cardinals will hold. It's going to be holding on the Tigers, I would suspect. Hi. Big play there by Thomas Johnson. So the Cards will take over with great field position. Look at this State Farm John Corsmo replay. Lad just ran out of time. Good protection, and then it broke down. It looked like he might escape and run that corner, but Johnson with an ankle tackle. What a play there by that young fella. Yeah, that's just an all-out all <laughs> athletic move there. So cards are in business in Tiger territory. Kalenbach. I'll give to Huey. Good blocking up the middle. And pushes forward. And then driven five yards back, but the whistle had sounded. Number 24 in on the tackle for the Tigers. Griffin Rudd. What year is he? How much does he weigh? How tall is he? He is a 205, 6 one foot, six foot one junior. Six one in, six one foot, six one foot. Yeah, six foot. <laughs> Huey, six foot, 175 pound junior. Six one foots makes him six, six <laughs> foot, right? Yeah. Six one foots. Motion here by the Cardinals. Kallenbach looking downfield, got a receiver there and down to his knees, making the catch is Schrieger. Nice play there by Sam Schrieger. Good ball by Kallenbach. Just past the pink cancer ribbon here, painted on both sides of the field. First and 10, they give him the first down. Nate Kallenbach, 15 TD tosses this year. Just underway here in the second quarter. Quick out, catch is made, and slipping and going down. Stoffacher on the... Stoffacher. Stoffacher on the... <laughs> With the tackle. Number 17 of the Cardinals, and that is Dustin Schultz. Good to see him back in there. He played last week and had a little nick on the ankle there. So second and 10 for the Cards. Ball on the Tiger 38. 
Handoff inside, and not much running room there. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Going to bring up third and ten. Beautiful night, Chirp. Dandy. Dandy night for football, high school football. Friday night lights. Bleachers are pretty full. Senior night. Bleachers are full. Bands here. Cheerleaders, little cheerleaders at halftime. Fake one way. Schwinger behind his defensive back. Touchdown Cardinals. Good double move. Signal a touchdown by the head official. It'll stand. 38 yard touchdown pass. 9.41 to go here in the second quarter. Card strike first. Good double move by Schwieger, and as the defensive back turned to look to the backfield for the quarterback, the ball was already gone. And Schwieger caught it in stride. And then we got a flag down, kick is up. I suspect offsides on the Tigers. That'd be my assumption. Offsides on the Tiger, kick is good. Schwieger with the touchdown catch. Let's look at that play again. And the double move already made, and Schwiger has it for six. Kalamak to Schwiger. And the extra point good by Nate Kalamak. As you see, <laughs> coming across the line a little, a little early there. And that one guy blocking three guys. Good job on the end there. <laughs> hey, he's doing the job of three guys. He did. Yeah, that, I think that was number three for the Cardinals. Hayden Burha. Hey, proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include U.S. Bank, Jake's Pizza. Stop in before or after the game. Visit with Jeff and Kim down there. D. War Electric, Gemini Studios, Peterson Anthony Insurance, the Visual Identity Vault. See Jay or Tanya for all your Cardinal athletic apparel. Kalabach to set to kick it away. Line drive kick coming here near sideline. Going to take a cardinal hop. Picked up after a couple dribbles there. And then out of bounds goes the bell playing ball carrier, number nine. Elliot Rudd. Good job by the cardinal kickoff coverage team. 5'10 junior. Devin Johnson in on that tackle. Nine thirty-seven to go. Cards lead. Kalambach to Schwieger. I have to check Facebook here. See if anybody's joined us. Smell Birthday. that? Birthdays. Somebody's out in the field. Yeah, they are, uh, <laughs> gonna have to be. This is one of the drier days. Give up the middle. And a good tackle there by Ringnell. And also coming up uh, from that bottom of the pile, number 59 for the Cardinals, Dominic Ortiz. You know what they're putting on that field? I, oh, putting on the field. I thought they were picking it. No, that yeah. smell. Uh -huh. You smell that right now? Yeah, that could be. Uh, that's some of that. That's some of that Martin County magic they're putting down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest counties making it. <laughs> Lad, three receivers top of your screen. He's looking that way. Tosses out there and a diving attempt by Queering, and the closest person to the ball. That'll bring up third down. Good pressure by the Cardinal defensive line. Myron, Devin Johnson. Number 50 in there, Colin Stuber. Thomas Johnson on that other end. Yeah, we've been in that backfield more than once. Big play on fourth down, a 13-yard loss. As Johnson made the play. Blitz coming up the middle. Catch, what a catch by the Bell playing receiver. And a flag comes here on the near sideline. Stoffaker with a great catch. Looked like it popped off his hand and up in the air and he pulled it back in. 
He has first down yardage. See what the flag is. I did not catch the I penalty. I believe the penalty was on our sideline. And somebody in the way of the official. We're working a little too close to it. Um, didn't look like they uh, added any yardage to the play. Maybe it was just a warning on the sideline to stay out of the official's way. He stands out of bounds and runs on along the sideline. Fake by Ladd. He's got some running room. He cuts to the outside. Stiff arm, and he's going to gain about eight, seven, eight yards there. Queering coming up with the tackle for the Cardinals. Walter in there, too. Jordan Walter. In that linebacking core with Ringnell. Jordan, 5'7", junior. One of the Cardinal wrestlers. Second and short for the Tigers, 8, 10 and counting. Ball at their own 42 yard line, cards on top, 7 0. Long count here by Ladd. Low snap, picks it out of the air. Pass, catch, first down, Tigers. They move the chains. Stoffiger again. He should be easy to follow. He's got that pink legging and pink. Waistband. Undershirt. Waistband. Yeah. Call it a, a waistband. A cummerbund. Cummerbund. There you, you know what? You know what cummerbunds are for? Catching no. crumbs. They should call it a crumberbund. But where do they catch the crumbs? In the cummerbund. <laughs> Is it Loki? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Quick toss out and balls on the ground, but it was a forward incomplete pass here. One thing about all these passes, game seems to take longer. <laughs> a little bit longer. Stoppage on incompletes. First down, moving the chains. <laughs> who, who, somebody slammed the door of the press box. Oh, there. Look out that. for those Russian yeah, hackers yeah. getting in here. Two receivers on both sides for Ladd. Pressure coming up the middle. Catch is made, and it's... Not other than Stoffiger. <laughs> Ringnell with the catch. Stoffiger. 5'6", 150-pound junior. He makes it third and one on the Cardinal. 44 and a half yard line. Stoffiger and two others on the bottom of your screen here. Ladd's going to keep it himself, pushes through that pile, and picks up the first down. Johnson on the stop there, possibly. Thomas Johnson. Uh, wind the clock with six and a half, 50 to go. Ladd threw 54 passes for the Tigers last week. He's in throwing mode again. Way down there and catch is made and a touchdown saving tackle there by Kallenbach. Good looking ball by Ladd and a catch by number six for the Bell Plain Tigers has a first and goal Tigers. Garrett Bob, Boblet. Boblet. Not Bobbit, Boblet. First and goal Tigers. Six foot sophomore. Three receivers, top of your screen. Ladd will keep it himself and buries himself in the end zone. Tigers on the board, 7-6, extra point coming. And I want to do a correction. I believe that was Mercado with the catch. Okay. Because there wasn't a sex out there. I think you're right. Ernesto Ramirez watching on the web. Clara Jacinko. Kick is up. Kick is good. We got a tie ball game here. With 6-10 to go here in the second quarter. Ladd with a three-yard touchdown run. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. 
two or three. <laughs> Extra point good. Hey, some proud supporters at Cardinal Youth Activities include the Squeegee Brothers, Frontier Communications, Graham Tire, State Bank of Fairmont, Johnson Barron's Wilson's Law Firm, Midwest Audio Video, CCF Bank, FairmontSports.com, Fairmont Booster Club, Century 21, Day Plumbing Heating, Lakeview Funeral Home. Congratulations to Mr. Toomer and Mrs. Morrison taking over the funeral home for Darren Johnson. Also, Duderstaff Video, Dan's Appliance, all proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities. 7 7 here, 6 10 to go. They chirp and Ole here. You're watching Cardinal Football here on the Gemini Studios Mid Continent Cable Network. Tape delay on Midco Channel 20, live around the world on the web. At Gemini Studios MN.com, also live on Facebook. Fire up that internet machine. Low line drive kick. Going to take a couple of hops. Field it at the 20. And out over the 20 or the 30. Josh Heinze. Right? With the tackle. Yep. Is Heinz. That one right? Heinz. Heinz or Heinz? I, I think it's Heinz. We'll, we'll double check that. Get our double checker guy on that one. Hey, double check that double checker. <laughs> Well, who's double checking the double checker that double checks? <laughs> so, the triple check, the triple <laughs> checkers checking him. Yeah. Colin Bach with three receivers, top of your screen, looking downfield. He's going to try that same play. The touchdown was on. Schwinger comes back. Did he make the catch? <laughs> Sam Schwinger inside the defensive back with the catch. State Farm, John Corsmo replay. What a play here. Whether the official saw it or not, he still called it a catch. <laughs> Great job by Schwigert. Cards hurry up to the line of scrimmage here. Six to go. Fake one way, give on a cross buck to Huey. He spins through a couple of Tiger tacklers and a game of about seven. That looked like a Huey helicopter going through there. <laughs> a Huey helicopter. Round and round, spinning. Yep, I get you. I get you. Oh, they moved him back now. Made uh, a long five. Yeah. Well, he spun forward. They must have mar had him marked down and bouncing forward. Huh? Huey will reset in the backfield here with Kallenbach. They give it to him again. He busts through a tackle. He's on his way. Ten-yard line. Touchdown, Cardinals. Latrell Huey answering the Tiger touchdown. 39-yard touchdown. It was a 38-yard touchdown pass from Kallenbach to Schwieger. Now Huey with a 39-yard run. 5-14 to go here in the half. Cards on the board again. Kick is up. That's a good one. As Kallenbach puts that one out on the track. Let's look at that TD run again here by Huey. Just a simple inside handoff. Good blocking in that line. Stuber and company. Connor Tortson. What a great job in that line by the Cardinals. Riley Shafee, Cameron Saxon, Eli Redinius. Huey with some love in the end zone. 14-7, cards on top. State Farm Insurance, John Corsmo, your agent there. I got to talk to the tech guru there to move that. <laughs> move that uh, State Farm symbol on the extra points. You got it right on the other end of the field, but it's on this end. <laughs> Kick down inside the 15-yard line, and good hustle over there. 
Number 24 for the Cards with a tackle. Nicholas Seeger. On a play by Seeger. So the Tigers will start at their own 25-yard line. And Bell playing in that section two, triple A, following Glencoe Silver Lake, who's five and one. Hand off up the middle, and Stuber right there. And drives number 44 to the ground. What a play by Stuber. Jack, Jack Fogarty with the run, 5'7", senior. Mike Hested watching on the web. Loss of a couple on the play. Stuber, in a couple more steps, would have took the hand off there, Ole. Yeah, he was back there <laughs> real quick, wasn't he? Shot out of a cannon. Ladd looking downfield. Pass over the middle. Good coverage there by Brady Allen. Number 12, the intended receiver. Dylan Kale. Four and a half to go. Clock stop on the incompletion. Third and 12. Ball on the Tiger 23. Ladd with a single setback. Trips here near side. Snap a low again. Looking downfield, and that one's off target. Intended for number 10 with Brady Allen on the coverage. That's Mercado that it was intended for. That's going to bring up kicking situation. Guys have 4.25 to go. Put another score on the board here in the first half. Querying at his own 45, end over end kick. He'll field it at 47. Looking for some blocking and about a eight, nine yard return. Cards in business in Bell Plain territory again. Hey, you're watching Cardinal Football here on the Gemini Studios Mid Continent Cable Network. Tape delay on Midco Channel 20. Also now live on Facebook. Go to the Fairmont Sports Facebook page. Kallenbach, querying in motion, fake one way, give to Huey up the middle. He's met at the line of scrimmage, and he's a brute there, carrying Tiger tacklers. And Saxon leading the way on that block there. Or Cameron, the 166 foot senior, and hobbling off is Huey. Ring now will come in. Uh, our best wishes to Mario Maldonado, who went out early in the game with a leg injury. And don't forget about Superintendent Joe Brown also had his plumbing cleaned out. Did Crest Refrigeration do that plumbing clean out? <laughs> I don't know. Who did that one? 14-7. <laughs> yeah. So, Joe, if you got any problems, call Chris Refrigeration. He could help you out. <laughs> he might even throw in a heater. <laughs> Furnace. Kallenbach looking downfield. Got a receiver deep. It's queering. Makes an adjustment in running there. And the catch is made down to the five-yard line. What a play there by Queering in his pattern. Adjusted to the flight of the ball. It's not getting much pressure either back there. Great line. blocking by the line. Line doing their job. That thing sailed. And a tackle by number 19 saves a touchdown for the Tigers. Tyler First and goal. O'Brien on the stop. 3.07 and counting on the clock. Eye backfield here by Kallenbach under center here. He gives to the second back. That's ring now. And he stopped around the three-yard line. Going to bring up second and goal. 
Green with the tackle. He sets it down in the goal for the Cardinals. It's like about the two and a half yard line. Two and three quarter. All right, I'll give you it. <laughs> Cardinals five and one on the season, and trailing Sibley East in that three triple A section. Sibley East six and zero. Oh. Kalamako keeping himself, looks inside, runs towards the goal line. Touchdown, <laughs> Cardinals. <laughs> Two and three quarter yard run. That it was. We'll make it a three yard run. For oh, yeah. <laughs> we got to round that one off. 2.17 to go. Cards score again here. They scored at 5.14. Three minutes later, they're back on the board. Good blocking by that line, as you pointed out on that pass protection, Ole. Myron yeah. will come out with the T. Garrett Myron, the holder for Kallenbach. Hey, we'll get to see the kicker live this time in the State Farm Court. Oh, and uh, that was blocked. Kick blocked by the Tigers. Let's look at the touchdown run again here by Kallenbach. State Farm John Corsmo replay. Just good blocking there. Big push by Stuber and Saxon and Connor Tortson in the middle of that line. Kalambach on the board. Extra point, no good. 20 to seven. Cards lead here at half. Cards scored first. And a 38 yard pass play to Schwiger from Kalambach. Ladd came back with a three yard run to tie it up at 7-7. <laughs> All the scoring coming here in the second quarter. Then Huey blasts through a hole for 39 yards, made up 14 seven cards. Now Kallenbach with that three yard run, 20 to seven. Cards lead it here with 2.17 to go. Big rivalry game this week, Packers and Vikings, Ole. Yeah, that's an exciting one in my house. I'm the Vikings, she's the Packers. Uh-oh. Winner gets bragging rights till we play again. Kick, bouncing on the ground and the returner went down to his knees, got back up, and then he's plowed under by a host of Cardinals. Good job. Number 34 for the Cardinals, leading the way. Josh Heinze again. Sammy Havnan from Bethany up there, checking in. He says, hey, to Levi. Sam Havnan. He was the golfer of the week in the conference there for Bethany. Lad looking downfield, stop pattern, catch, drop. Second down and 10. I still tell a story about Sam every now and then. Yeah? Uh, is it a hockey story? It's a hockey story. Yeah. Sam, Go figure. Shocker. Sam playing hockey. Well, it's the time that he got hit so hard, he came over to the bench and went to climb over the bench and just <laughs> went face down into the bench. <laughs> yeah. He got his uh, bell, bell rung. rung. Yeah. Then he rung it at himself again, falling over the wall. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then he, wait, then he finally is he's, yeah. he's, he's conscious enough to talk to me, and he tells me that he wants to go back in and play. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. so I don't think so, bud. He can't beat and beat a kid that wants to give it all. <laughs> and a first down for the Tigers. That'll stop the clock with two minutes to go. Number 12 for the Tigers with the catch and moving to the chains. Dylan Kale. Lad, two minute drill here. Exactly two minutes to go here in the first half. Ladd looking downfield. The receiver cannot hang on to this one. Coverage by Queering on that far sideline. That'll stop the clock with 150. Bell playing three and three on the season. They would have played Jordan, but they 
had to forfeit that game because of a skin disease in Patigo. You know what the score for a forfeit is? <laughs> too, too, much, too, too much to no, not enough. You're close. Two to nothing. Really? They score it as. Baseball in the seventh inning game, it's seven nothing. Ladd tucked it down. He looked to take off and Ortiz and a quick timeout by the Cardinals. Dominic Ortiz drops Ladd. They've sacked him four or five times a night, Ole. Yeah, we've getting back we've been getting back there quite good a bit. Good pressure. We're Ladd and that leads to good coverage downfield by the defensive backs also. Yep, I mean, just offensively and defensively, we're just getting off the ball faster. That's what it's coming down to. Controlling that line of scrimmage, as you see defensive coach out there, Brad Johnson, talking to his troops. Coming up at halftime, talking to cheer coach Deb Heinrich at the volleyball game the other night. She said there's probably 80 little ones that are going to perform here at the half along with the Cardinal Band. Are you going to count? Uh, Preston said he would do that. <laughs> we got a roster so we can call them out as we see them. Yeah. So third and 13 here. Ball on the Tiger 37. Ringnell cheating up. He's coming on the blitz. Straight drive and a good catch and breaking a tackle. And hanging on. And a flag comes in on the sideline again. A quarterback went down on that big hit, but he got the pass off. And the flag took a big shot. Lad did by the Cardinals. Johnson. Devin Johnson, that is. He laid the lumber to Lad. That was a free run. Tigers will move the chains here. We had a flag on the near side. And I think I one of the coaches got in the way of the official here on the sideline. Ladd still down on his derriere, moving those legs. This could add some additional yardage to the catch and first down. And that's going to add five more yards to the end of the play. So the penalty is on the Cardinal sideline. One thirty-three to go. I'm just trying to take everything that's happening on the field in right now. So we got a penalty for being too far out while our coaches are trying to point out that their quarterback needs to go out for one play. Mm -hmm. So do they got a different play? <laughs> no, no, uh, they tried to sneak it back The official's going to say, you're going to have to go out. Yeah, he's got to go out one play. Good catch, Ole. That means number seven who so was warming up. So if it seems like I'm not listening to you, that's what I'm doing. No, you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> now, you can't win an argument. And uh, yeah, so the... Oh, okay. And I still would argue that he can't come back in. Well, you have to waste the timeout. Or not yeah. waste, but you got to use one. So the timeout by the Tigers. 133 to go. Cards up 20 to 7. Schwieger, Huey, and Kallenbach with touchdowns. Ladd with the touchdown. And he was leveled on that pass play where the Tigers picked up the first down. It's proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities includes Slumberland. Stop down to see Tom and Lisa and Matt for all your furniture needs. Beamer Companies, Militano Motors, see Scott. Also Jeff, Mr. Kramer down there at Militano Motors for all your vehicle needs. American Lab, Perkins Restaurant, Lund Chiropractic, Hometown Sanitation, Ranch Family Restaurant. Don't forget about that 40-item salad bar. The Bowmore Lanes, Cosmic Bowling, Friday and Saturday nights. Also, Fairmont Ford. Stop down and see James, Paul, Kyle, and that Smitherman guy. 133 to go. First and 10, the ball at the Cardinal 42-yard line. A quick out pass, and they keep in bounds, so the clock will continue to run. How many timeouts they got left? I would say two for sure. 
Clock down to 115. Second and five for the Tigers on the Cardinal 37. Ladd looking downfield. He's got a receiver tip. And then the receiver still caught it. Two Cardinal defensive linemen hit Ladd just as he threw it, and it fell short. It looked like he was going to go deep <laughs> to the cor post or corner route. He's just getting you know. the thumping tonight. <laughs> So first down, they move the chains ball on the Cardinal 25. Under a minute to go. Ladd brings it down himself. He'll slide down at the 17 yard line. I'm gonna be short of the stick. Second and a couple. Clock down to 38 seconds. Ladd calling the play from the backfield here. Far sideline wanted a call on the late hit. And wow. a whistle will stop play here. The play clock was down to 14. What they and Bell Plain's gonna call a timeout here. What they see as a late hit. Mm -hmm. What I see is I don't know if the that's play. is if that's the same rule in high school or not. Oh, if you start your slide. You slide yep. I have to check with one of the officials. So you get a good look at the officials there. I don't know where this crew is from. 29 seconds on the game clock. Cardinals leading 20 to seven. Tigers threatening here in the first half. Ladd who was out with a sprained MCL for a few games. And he came back last week and threw 54 passes for 352 yards in that victory over New Alm. You can get down with Charlie from the Sentinel here at half, see how many passes he's thrown this first half. Second and short, ball on the Cardinal 16 yard line, trips to the top of your screen, two receivers here to the bottom of your screen. Ladd looking downfield, quick pitch over the middle and a great play and the flag comes out late. In the in the backfield, where usually holding, good play by the defensive back. Let's look at that again. As they discuss the penalty, good defensive play. Just a quick slant over the middle and a diving Kallenbach and negates a completion there. And it is holding on the Tigers. That'll back them up all the way out to the 30-yard line with 25 ticks on the clock and make it third down or keep the down the same, second down. And a replay brought to you by John Corsmo down there at State Farm Insurance. Same formation here for Ladd. Nobody in the backfield with him. Three rushers for the cards. Trying to draw them offsides. Good job by the cards not to go offsides. Clock is stopped with 25 seconds. Second and 13. Rush up the middle. Ball deep out there, and that's just over the intended receiver, number 12 for the Tigers as Kale again. Schwieger on the coverage over there. or as a Brady Allen, excuse me, clock down to 19 seconds here on third down. Guard still got good pressure there with just three guys rushing. Yeah, they're bringing it every time. Johnson, Johnson, and Myron. Now they got Ortiz in the middle, so it'll be Myron. And a third timeout called here by the Tigers. Hey, some other proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include Kelligan Water, Olson Reynolds. Hey! Yeah, stop down and see Chris, Brian, Joe, Don. Yeah, snowblower time. You got some new ones down there, I see, Ole. We do. We got all kinds of them. Do a little carpet and paints. First Farmers and Merchants Bank, AOK Plumbing Heating, Bank Midwest, Fairmont Photo Press, Fairmont Body Shop. Also, we don't want to forget about Case IH, Johnny O down there at Rabbi International. Gemini Studios, the Visual Identity Vault, Dan's Appliance, Graham Tires. Stop down and see Brad, Malcolm, Dale for all your vehicle needs. 
the Squeegee Brothers, DeWar Electric, U.S. Bank, Pizza Ranch. We got to make it sure we get our order in here, Oli. Yeah, it's going to be a little later than last time. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of passing, stoppage of the clock. 19 seconds on the clock, third and 13 here for the Tigers. Ladd looking downfield, and an out pattern, and the, the receiver slipped on the grass. It's forked down. Clock stopped with 15 seconds. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't watch their kicker in warm-ups. I don't know if he could kick it. It doesn't look like they're going to bring out a kicker here. And that would be a 40-some yard field goal. So on fourth down, he might just do the Hail Mary in the end zone here, Oli. Hey, why not? Just load up three guys on one side and pitch it that way. Yeah. They but do. then he throws to his left. Yeah, three on the top oh, of your screen. Bubble screen. Blitz coming, rushing four, looking downfield. That one's thrown deep in the end zone, and good play by Schwieger, or Kallenbach. With the gold shoes there. Nate right on the coverage of Mercado. Cards will take over with nine seconds to go in the half. Near State Farm, John Corzumo replay. Good ball by Ladd, but Kallenbach got that hand in there at the last minute. Great play. Just an awesome, outstanding, upworthy, awesome <laughs> play. See big number 60 in there, and Riley Chafee and Connor Torson in that line doing a great job tonight blocking. Yeah, it starts with those guys. That's absolutely correct. Uh, cards uh, will just take the knee here and run out the half. So touchdowns by Schrieger on a pass from Kallenbach. A lad. Touchdown for the Tigers, ties it. And Huey comes back with a big run. The Cards go up 14-7, and then Kallenbach with a three-yard run gives the Cards a 27 halftime lead here. Hey, Chirp here along with Ole and the Gemini crew from Mahoney Field. Hi-o. We're at half here. The band will be coming out to play, and we'll have some cheer clinic. Cheerleaders coming out also. I'm going to run down and get some stats from Charlie from the Sentinel, Oli. I'm a, Preston's going to take over on camera. I'm going to hang out. Yeah. Oh, wait for the band to come out here. Plus the flag girls and what do you call the girls with those rifles there? Rifle, rifle twirlers? Uh, Baton yeah, twirlers? There's a, there's a, no, there's a name oh, for I it. I know it. Not color guard. Which, uh, well, the, uh, yeah, that's part of the color guard, aren't there they? There you go. Huh? We got the ones with the batons with the flames on. Those are always fun. The wood rifles. 20 to 7 here at half. The wood wooden rifle twirlers. We'll get we'll get that from one. We'll get Avery on that. Have Avery go check what they are called. <laughs> That's our trivia question. <laughs> yeah. Google that. Wikipedia that. Here's the sound of the band. Hey, we're going to let you listen to the Cardinal Band and then watch for the cheer clinic. Little cheerleaders coming on after that.
This summer, don't send a fan to do an air conditioner's job. Call your local Daikin Comfort Pro before it's too late. Daikin. Comfort for life. Your local Daikin Comfort Pro is Crest Refrigeration. Call Crest Refrigeration today for all your heating, air conditioning, and indoor air quality needs, or visit us on the web. Be sure to ask about our special financing and rebate offers available now on your new Daikin Comfort System. We have a rich community heritage here in southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. It's the people, our family, friends, and neighbors who help make our community what it is. Peterson Anthony Insurance has been a part of this community for nearly 100 years, building strong relationships with our customers and protecting what's most important to you. We're invested in our community. We're invested in you. Peterson Anthony Insurance, your possessions, your protection, our business. Hello, Richards? Help! If your vehicle won't go, call Richards for a tow. We offer 24-hour towing service with wheel lift and flatbed trucks. In need of repair, Richards has skilled mechanics and an excellent service facility to handle all your car repair needs. Quick, convenient, reliable. Richards will get you back on the road fast. Richards Auto Repair and Towing, 410 East Blue Earth Avenue, Fairmont. Stop watching your money fly out the roof, windows, and walls of your home or business. Satis Insulation can handle any job, large or small. Stops the money drain with high quality R-value spray and foam insulation. Factory trained and certified, Satis Insulation specializes in ag buildings and new construction and remodeling projects. Call Satis Insulation for a free estimate today and start saving money tomorrow. Satis Insulation, the better choice in insulation. Squeegee Brothers of Southern Minnesota has been cleaning windows for decades. If you haven't hired us yet, let me give you three good reasons why you should. Most accidents occur around the home. Let us safely clean your windows for you. Your time is valuable, so let Squeegee Brothers have your windows cleaned before you get home from work. Sparkling clean windows magnify the beauty of your home. Call Squeegee Brothers today for your free estimate. Hey, welcome back to Mahoney Field as the Cards lead the Bell Plain Tigers 20 to 7. Hey, trip here along with Ole who cleared out his sinuses. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. so much better though. Yeah. Bouncing kick picked up by Queering right back up the middle and he's dropped hard just over the 30 yard line. Stats from that first half, Cards lead 20 to 7, touchdown 38-yard pass from Kallenbach to Schwieger, and Ladd came back and tied it at seven for the Tigers on a three-yard run. And then Latrell Huey with a 39-yard burst made a 14-7, and then Kallenbach had a three-yard run to make it 27. Kick failed there. All scoring coming in the second quarter after a scoreless first. Kallenbach in the backfield, looking downfield. He's got a receiver going deep. And a good play there as the defensive back, number nine, had coverage on Burhau. Elliot Rudd with the coverage. Burhau looked like he had a chance to grab that one. 13 first downs in that first half for the Cards, five for the Tigers. Cardinals, Kallenbach was eight of 13 for 141 yards. Ladd was 12 of 24 for 151 yards. Cardinals rushed 15 times for 69 yards and a short run here. And the Tigers rushed 15 times for 14 yards and a lot of loss of yardage on a couple of sacks by the Johnson. 
Both Johnsons in there, Thomas Johnson and Devin Johnson, and Colin Stuber. Just underway here in the second half. You're watching Cardinal football here on the Gemini Studios Midcontinent Cable Network, live around the world on the web, GeminiStudiosMN.com, now on Facebook. Go to the Fairmont Sports Facebook page. Wide open, querying, catches it on a run. Nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Cardinals. I would Figured say, the yardage on that one. I would the say ball was on the 32-yard line. Blown coverage. Cardinals score quickly here to open the half. That track sprinter speed by Queering. Ten fifty-eight to go. A strike there by Kalabach. We'll set up for the extra point. Sixty-eight yards. Is that what that computes to? 68 plus 32, that equal 100. High snap, kick is up. Kick is good. Let's look at that play again. Ball on their own 32 yard line. Kallenbach, good protection. Gets it off and querying two steps beyond the defender. And nobody's gonna win that foot race. Good pitch and catch. 68 yard. Touchdown catch by Wyatt Queering. Wyatt Queering. His eighth TD. And the replay is there brought to you by Cavers Realty. Susie Corsmo, your realtor down there. Good job on moving that graphic so we could see that kicker kick the extra point there. It actually kind of looked like the little graphic was part of the, <laughs> the kick. The, yeah. Part of the play there. She was blocking. Right size and everything. <gasps> That's the way you want to come out and score right away. Put the Tigers on their heels. High hopper fielded at the 15 yard line. And a good job again there by the Cardinals. Number 29 in on that tackle for the Cardinals. Mr. Walter again, Jordan, Jordan Walter. Walter. And 22 also helping in on that play. Jacob Tennyson. Cardinals five and one on the season. Bell playing three and three. Played a couple of the same teams. Tri-City United and Worthington. Cardinals will play New Alm. Bell playing coming off a win over New Alm. Quick out there, shuffle of the feet in the pass. Stuber hanging on and then escaping is Stauffenberger. Or Stauffaker. Jackson Stauffaker, a sick 5'7, 180 pound senior. 12 of 24 was Ladd. He threw 54 passes last week. He's halfway there tonight. He's got a lot of catching up to do. Down 20. Quick out. A couple of nice blocks and a first down for the Tigers. Querying will come back in. Ring Nell and Schweiger on the Schweiger stop. over there, yep. You gonna order some pizza? Or? Yeah, we'll get that done. I was just saying, because the first yeah. half took a little long, so. Yeah. We had an injury in that first half to Mario Maldonado, who was helped off the field, a leg injury. We wish him well. Another quick out here near sideline. And a good tackle there by Brady Allen, who came up and made the tackle on number 12 of the Tigers. Dylan Kale, six foot three senior. No gain on the play. Ball sophomore. Marked. Sophomore. Sorry. S S O is sophomore. No ten. Oh, okay, you got a ten. I got a ten. So I got a ten. Did F I hear a niner in there? F R ten four. I think you heard. 
920 and counting. <laughs> See, there it is. Lad, the ball's on the ground. He picks it up. Pressure from the backside. They pick it up. Looking downfield. The toss is made out there and stepping out of bounds. First down yardage. Coming back to the ball. A good play there by the Tiger receiver, Mercado. He, Jake Mercado with the catch and moves the sticks in the Cardinal territory. Clock stopped at 9.04. A lot of passes, you'll have incompletion, a lot of stoppages of the clock, moving the chains. Makes for a little longer game. Fake one way, Ladd will keep it himself, cuts through a hole, he'll have another Tiger first down at the 30 yard line. Ring now, no, it's a Schwieger getting up slow here. That's uh, Schwieger. Who made the tackle. Back Here's up on his right. feet. Good observance there, Willie. I have my moments, I told you. Uh -huh. Every once in a while, you just got to poke me. Halftime score, Wasika 29, St. Peter St. 7. Lad looking downfield. He's got receivers way down there, a fight for the ball along the sideline. Good coverage there by Kallenbach on Mercado. Worthington leads Albert Lee 14 to nothing. Start the third quarter there. A flag comes out here on the field here. Somebody questioned on uh, personal conduct and unsportsmanlike conduct. Yes, on the Tigers. That'll back up the. That'll bring up a big penalty here on the Tigers and back them up. Second and a quarter of the field. To the 45. Almost half the field. Of the Cardinals. Marshall 41, TCU 6 at the half. 28-11, Laverne leading the Martin County West Mavericks. Kallenbach on the coverage, got some of that yardage back. Mercado at the catch, or Stoffinger. Stoffinger. So it's gonna bring up third and 15 for the Tigers. Ball now on the Cardinal 35. Eight oh four on the clock. Blitz coming up. Lad getting outside. Got a receiver there and almost six the other way as Queering with a great defensive play. Let's look at that one again. What a play by Queering. Not gonna bring it up. Thanks, Struck. <laughs> Querying with a great play. He would add six, nobody would have caught him. So fourth and 15, Tigers will go for it here in four down territory. Lad looking downfield, double move down there. Kallenbach down there. He'll just try to bat it away, Cards will take over. Good defensive series there by the Cardinals. Yeah, Kallenbach with some good plays there, too. Hey, some proud supporter of the Cardinal Youth Activities include Gemini Studios, Peterson Anthony Insurance, and the Visual Identity Ball. Stop to see Jay or Tanya for all your Cardinal athletic apparel. Dan's Appliance, Duderstadt Video, Lakeview Funeral Home, Dave Plumbing Heating, Century 21. See Wendy and the crew for all your house needs. 27-7. Give up the middle. Not much there. Number 44 in on the tackle for the Tigers as number 34 for the Cardinals makes the carry. Josh Hines, six foot stop. sophomore. Now in there, Huey, he went out with a little bit of a limp there early on in the second quarter. 
came back in. Maldonado out for the game. A leg injury, about three plays into the game. On his birthday, quick toss out there. Query looking for some running room and some blocks. He's gonna make a, a loss on the play into a, about a 12, 15 yard run, but nowhere to go. Quarian's gonna get right up there. He took a shot. Well, he can only run around on a football field so long holding a football before uh, eleven I guys. Think, I think he might mm -hmm. get hit. <laughs> eleven guys <laughs> spot you. Because last time I checked, the goal of the eleven guys on the other <laughs> side of the ball. <laughs> if you get a chance, listen to Andy Griffin's version of that. <laughs> Andy Griffin did a version of football. It's a good one. Kallenbach looking back across. Receiver there, querying, reaches back, incomplete. Fourth down. Cards will have to punt it away here. Good coverage there by the Tigers, number 19. Tyler O'Brien again. Kallenbach and querying hooking up for a third quarter TD here. Just at the 10.58 mark. Kallenbach set to kick it away. Low snap, one hopper, got good blocking. Good kick by Kallenbach. Gonna take a cardinal roll too. Tigers are gonna pick it up and down there quickly, number five and a big hit to make sure he goes goes nowhere. That's Connor Torson. Good coverage there by Catava. Alex Catava, one skipper to Kallenbach and he boots about a 60 yard punt. Well, Plano almost getting a finger on it too. Watch Catava, number five. He's going to hold up the runner. And then Torson says, hello. Good night. Connor Torson. And then he helped him up. What a guy. Gentleman. What a gentleman. And a scholar, too, I hear. Gentleman and a scholar. Well, Bro he's still in high school, so maybe not yet. Yeah. His brother at the U, Walker Torson. Tigers take over. First and ten. Almost picked off by the Cardinals. Good coverage there by... Jordan Walter, look at that again. Great coverage. Number 29 read the out pattern. Almost stepped in there for six the other way. Couple of chances. Good job by Cardinal defense. Second and ten. Here, Susie Corzmo, Cavers Realty replay. Lad, and he's in trouble. Myron with the tackle. And Johnson adding to it. Garrett Myron tried to go up and block the pass and then just kept on running, and he ran into Myron and Thomas Johnson. What are you going to say, Oda? Oh, just uh, I was going to point out that uh, it was a good team effort to tackle that guy. <laughs> you hang on to him and I'm gonna tackle you. you gotcha. <laughs> Loss on the play, Cardinals third sack of the game. Five but, and a half to go here in the third quarter. Hey, when it's a loss, we don't care how we get it, right? Exactly. Third and 19 at their own 15 are the Tigers looking downfield, looking for a receiver and they're gonna throw that away and the flag comes in the backfield. Holding on, the Holding on the Tigers. See what the Cardinals do here. I think they'll decline it and force the Tigers to kick. I believe they already have. Lindsay Lumen joining us on Facebook. Oh. Maya Obernolte. <laughs> Diane Rosberg, Phil Yates, all checking in. Watching the game. Okay, here you go. Long kick, and it's going to take a cardinal roll backwards towards the Tigers. <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? Yeah, I'm watching, <laughs> I'm watching Facebook. I'm watching that replay. I think there's they, a word for that. See if they got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Cards take over, 5.08 to go. Good field position again. 
Hey, some other proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities include CCF Bank, formerly Wells Federal Bank, Midwest Audio Video. Stop and see Adam for all your video and audio needs. Johnson Barons and Wilson's Law Firm, State Bank of Fairmont. Burr Howe in motion. Kallenbach looking in an out pattern here. What a diving grab by Schwager. Good camera work by the benevolent overlord. Right into his picture. Watch this play. Kallenbach, good protection again by that line. And what a great diving grab there by Sam Schwager. Here, Cabers Realty, Susie Corsmo replay it. Nine o'clock, real time. I'll make it 8.54. And we're just... That's the digital era time. Three quarters away through the third quarter as Kallenbach carries it here near sideline. You know what my generation says the time is right now? No. 8.54. Do you know what your generation says? Uh, almost nine. Almost nine. What is this floating up here? It looks like a balloon. Or not More cobwebs. Cobwebs. That's what it is. That's what it is. What's this thing floating up there? Yeah. Kind oh, yeah. They're coming off the lights. Uh, that's where it's coming from. Looks like cotton candy on the lights up there. Kallenbach, and play clock down to 14. Fake gives the ring now, not much there. Let's see if he got the first down. Tiger stuffed that one. Getting a little twisted up in there. Eli Redinius trying to get his block and get that first down. It's gonna be fourth and short. See if Kallenbach will go go under center. I was reading up on the high school rules. You cannot use drones for high school video. Huh, shocker. Uh, yeah, they didn't. Well, I suppose they don't want them falling over yeah, the field. Cr crashing on the field. Kallenbach will sneak forward and he's got a lot of help pushing him forward. Scrum, keep it going. Uh, uh, you, you got 16 guys in a pile. Uh, suppose we can get a rugby as a high school sport. <laughs> yeah. Good job by the Cardinal line to push that pack forward. If we thought Somewhere in there is Kallenbach with the ball. As he gets the first down, cards with three minutes to go here in the third quarter, have it first and 10 on the Tiger 31. Did you catch that halftime performance only by those cheerleaders? Kallenbach. Looking downfield, receiver down there is querying and good defense by the Tigers. Number 19 on the coverage. Tyler O'Brien. Called his name a few times tonight. He's got his hands full of querying tonight. Bell playing three and three on the season. They were nine and three last year. They made it to the state quarterfinal where they lost to St. Croix Lutheran, 32-21. They defeated the Holy Family Catholic, Glencoe Silver Lake, and Jordan in the playoffs before that. Kallenbach, receiver there. Stopped and out of bounds. Going to be short of the stick. See Tommy Seifert holding the stick over there. A little bundled up, isn't he? Yeah. Thirty-five, eleven. Laverne leading Martin County West. Laverne in our section. Third and short at the nineteen of the Tigers. Call it three. Kallenbach, straight drop. Throwing over the middle. Allen there! And just off his fingertips. And a flag came out late in the backfield in that holding area on the Cardinals. No, there's going to be illegal motion on the Cardinals. See what the Tigers do. Will they take the. See if they'll. They declined. See if they decline it or take no, the they penalty. No, they, they declined. Didn't. They declined it, so it's going to be fourth and three. So 
So instead of fourth and eighth. I'll tell you if they were right in about five <laughs> seconds. All righty. 1,001. Maybe 1,002. <laughs> Give to Query. He's looking for some running room, and he and the Tigers come up with the defensive stop. They'll take over. Two sixteen to go. Cardinals lead 27-7 here in the third quarter. You're watching Cardinal football here on the Gemini Studios Mid Continent Cable Network. Tape delay on Midco Channel 20. Around the world on the web at Gemini Studios MN.com. Also live on Facebook at the Fairmont Sports Facebook page. Other proud supporters include Perkins Restaurant, Lawn Solution, Associate Autometry, Fairmont Forum, Tate's Tree Service. Thriving Financial, Saddest Insulation, and Richard's Auto Repair and Towing. Carson Ladd, who threw 54 passes last week. And back to pass here. Looking out there, and good defense by the Cardinals. Nate Kallenbach covering McCardo. One of the players that had been Making a lot of carries. Walsh has been nicked up a little bit. Marcus. Marcus 17. Walsh. Haven't seen much of him tonight. Maybe he's re injured. Incomplete stops the clock, 2 12. Ladd with a missile and tipped off the hands of Stoffinger. We're going to bring up third and ten. Note to the truck: I'm going to call the Pizza Ranch before the end of the <laughs> before the uh, the. Uh, oh, God, I got to take my headsets <laughs> off from all the cheering on that. Yeah. yeah. Before we go to commercial, okay, John, the tech guy? Yeah, we're gonna do it live. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be 15 minutes. First down as Carson Ladd slides in the second there. Yeah, got a helicopter coming in only. That's Sounds good. that way. That's not good. Clock continues to run here in the third quarter. Querying the 68-yard touchdown catch, the only score here in the third quarter. No scoring in that first quarter. 27-7, cards on top. And a flag comes out, stopping the clock. So the flag, illegal procedure on the Tigers. That'll back up the Tigers five yards and make it fourth and six instead of fourth and one. Tony Nuss into the game for the Cardinals. Querying back at his 43 yard line. Watch the fake. Nope. Kick is away. Nice line drive spiral. Querying will have a chance to make a return here. Makes a stutter step one way. Gets out of a tackle, and he's going to face a boatload of white. And does a good job of getting out of bounds before he gets. Uh, do we got a flag on the play? Yes, we do. Hey, how about the that? Two of them. And we will have probably another unsportsmanlike conduct here. I would say two of them. One eleven to go. Penalties in that first half. According to Charlie from the Sentinel. Two for 17 on the Tigers. They tripled that here in the second half. Uh, off 
offsetting penalties here on sportsmanlike conduct on the Cardinals and a late hit on the Tigers. So Cards are will take over on their own 41 yard line leading 27 7 with 111 to go here in the third Burr Howe gets it from Kallenbach looking for a block outside cuts back inside flags come from everywhere and this one's going to come back Carson Toomer will come in here for the Cardinals. And the penalty will be marked off from the spot of the foul. And that's a big one. Backing the Cardinals all the way up to the 29 yard line. Clock will uh, go here, though. That'll be the good thing. We could run a couple of plays here and run out this clock here in the th third quarter. Play clock down to eight. <coughs> Kallenbach out pass. That'll stop the clock. Intended for the Cardinals. Dustin Schultz. So it'll be second down and 29, or 22, excuse me. Kallenbach with the play from the sideline here. Three receivers here to the bottom of your screen. Hand off up the middle. That's Toomer. And we'll I'll probably have one more play before the third quarter. Jake Yankee on the stop. Yeah, no, we can run out the half here. Let's call the pizza ranch, yeah. Into the third quarter, 27-7, cards lead. If I could take a picture right now, yeah. I think I'm going <laughs> to. Thank you for calling. Pete Francis, this is Grant. What can I get for you today? This is Grant, you said? Uh, yep, I just took the, sorry, Grant, I had something to do with this. Josh, how can I help you? This is Josh? Yep. This is Kerb. How are we doing? Need, need some pizzas for the Gemini crew at the football field. You got it. Uh, what pizzas are you looking for? Yeah, same as usual. A Bronco and a Stampede. Ten crust large. You got it. Thanks for being with us on the air here, Josh. You got it. Have a nice day. We'll get it out there to you. And what time are you going to deliver that? About 9.30? Uh, or? Uh, yep, yeah, right around 9.30 for you. That'll have to work. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Got it. Like, like. The, hey, hey, the guy, yeah, don't laugh. How, how can the guy answer the phone? Hi, this is Grant. <laughs> Wait, I'm Josh. Uh, hey, 27-7, let's take a break and we'll be back. <laughs> Since 1977, Tate's Tree Service has been offering complete professional tree care services for commercial, residential, and agricultural properties. With an ISA certified arborist on staff, Tate's Tree Service offers risk assessment and management strategies, crane assisted tree removal, lot and land clearing, pruning, and stump removal. They have the best equipment and expertise to get the job done quickly and safely. Tate's thanks the Southern Minnesota and Northern Iowa communities they have proudly served since 1977. Why not give them a call today? And welcome back to Mahoney Field. 27-7, cards on top. Hey, Chirp here along with Oli. Hi, oh. oh. I was going to let you drink first. <laughs> yeah. I stopped. 
27-7, Cards lead here the start of the fourth quarter. And you're watching Cardinal football here on the Gemini Studios Mid-Continent Cable Network. So penalty will back up the Cards another five yards here on third and a country mile. You know that pizza's going to come early, and there's three guys in the truck. You're going to have to set, set that on top of the TriCaster to keep it warm. Kallenbach will put querying in motion here. Looking downfield. Schwieger down there. Fight for the ball in and out of the hands. So it'll be a kicking situation here for the cards. Schwieger, good coverage. But yeah, really good coverage by Mercado on that one. Beautiful night for football here. 49 degrees, it says on the temperature gauge. And next week, the Cards will be on the road to New Alm. Snap, a wobbly one. Pressure coming, a wobbly spiral. Good job by Kallenbach. And that one's going to take a good roll for the Cardinals. All the way to the 26-yard line. Great punt by Nate Kallenbach. He's been outstanding tonight in the kicking field and also passing here on senior recognition night. Did you get a shot of those signs down there? How about you get those cheerleaders while you're scanning those signs too. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Get in there so I can read them off. Devin Johnson, Justin Byrne, Riley Clary, Alex Pitcher, Connor Tortson, Camera Saxon, Colin Stuber. Uh-oh. Wyatt Queering, Kobe Cool, Nick Seagar, Brady Allen, and Sam Schrager, and Nate Kallenbach. Back to the action. What a, oh, that guy is good. That guy is good on that camera. Well, we might have a nice defensive play there by Sh as you like to call Kallenbach. that. As you like to call that, <laughs> that cameraman was, of ours, yeah. our RBO. Our yeah, there you go. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> our benevolent yeah, overlord, the otherwise B known as B.O. 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 B.A. B.O. B.A. Boba. Twenty-seven, <laughs> seven. Second down here for Carson Ladd in the Tiger offense. Stoffiger in the slot. He's been the favorite target. They're going to go deep here. And the only one close to that is Kallenbach. Here, if the guys want to step out of the truck and catch the tip money. <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> what do you got, a nickel? Uh, a couple of quarters anyway. <laughs> Here's another quarter. Hey, we almost got a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave all my tip money to my hairdresser today. <laughs> all they got to do is just climb on the roof and get it now. She touched... She touched touched up the tips of my hair. Let's see here. There's a ten. I got a one if you step outside the truck. Just crumple it up and throw it at him. I'm dropping a one by the door. Open the door up down there in the truck. Pass out here near sideline. Oh, there's a football cannot, game going on. Cannot be handled. Here you go. Look up. Here you go. Here, here it comes. Uh, oh, he's got, oh, oh, he missed it. Incomplete. <laughs> I'm over for 1 on passing. <laughs> if it would have been a Lincoln, he probably would have caught it, but it was a George Washington. Fourth down. Don't forget about that 75 cents on the roof, too, Avery. The <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Quarian will drop back to his own 40-yard line. Cardinals with a little rush trying to block everybody at the line of scrimmage. This is going to take a sideway bounce. And the Cards will start with good field position at their own 44-yard line. Tigers, their next opponent will be at home against Albert Lee. Hey, Pillinger beat Rozo today, 48-14. At Rozo, you know where Rozo is? I know exactly where Rozo is. Ain't that where the Canadian border begins? That's where they burn basketballs for heat. 
Good run here by Kallenbach, and he squirts through. He's in the open, 30, 25, 20, 15. And he's gonna uh, coming up with a Charlie horse, but he's gonna work that out. Great run here by Nate Kallenbach. Look at that. Cavers Realty, Susie Korsmo will replay again. Stoffinger trying to strip the ball, and Susie lead blocking out there. Yeah. Call that number, 238-4496, as you see Kallenbach lifting up those toes. First and 10. I thought we dropped a dollar on top of the truck for a tip. <laughs> Last time I checked, three quarters was 75 cents, Troop. <laughs> How many did you throw? Oh, you there? threw a... Yeah, I threw some down there. Did you throw any down there? I threw 50 cents down there. <laughs> well, two quarters is 50 cents, and I threw two, and you I threw I thought you threw one. No, I oh. threw one time, but two quarters. Oh, yeah. Jeez, well, see, you see my confusion. I see your confusion. You see my confusion. But then I added a dollar. So, so you're actually up at me. You're yeah, up a dollar yeah. fifty. Yeah. Hey, make him go back for some hot peppers, too, for that pizza. You didn't request hot peppers when you called them. They usually have them. <laughs> they usually have them in the car. Uh, hey, there goes some more cobwebs, Ollie. <laughs> Put it on that one. <laughs> hey, New Prague lost the Rochester Mayo, 24-0. Getting some games done here. They're going to be way done before we are. Mm. 9.49 to go here in the fourth quarter. Play clock. And the Cardinals might call time out here. And this, and this, um, 9.36 to go. Time out on the field. Hey, it's a broad sport of the Cardinal Youth Activities include Richard's Auto Repair and Towing. Stop down to see Richard and Betty for all your vehicle needs. Status Insulation, Thriving Financial, Scott Foreman, your agent there. Brian Willie out there with the offense. Offensive coordinator. Also, Tate's Tree Service, Fairmont Ford, Associate Autometry, Lawn Solutions, check in with Chad for all your fertilizer needs. Perkins Restaurant. Boy, they got some good pies out there at Perkins. Lund Chiropractic, Hometown Sanitation, the Ranch Family Restaurant. And check out their app on their line, the ranchrestaurant.com. You can order online, have, and you can get in there and pick it up. Cardinals come out here. Third and nine, ball on the Tiger 14. Quirin will go in motion. Fake to him. Looking for Schwiger. Kallenbach looking for a receiver. Off the hands of Brady Allen and almost caught twice. by Schwiger. <laughs> almost caught twice. We just fourth needed one down. more tip. Guards will go for it here on fourth down. You got that one? Let's look at that. Yeah, yeah Susie Corsmo replay. Allen, the tight end, coming across. He gets a pair of hands on it, and Schwiger almost came up with the touchdown reception. Our Susie Corsmo, Cavers re the replay. Quadruple receivers to the far side. Kallenbach got his choice in the end zone and knocked down. Good play there by Mercado. The Tigers will take over with 9.23 to go. Hey, a shout out to the fifth grade football team, 6-0 on the season, playing in a championship game against Mankato West tomorrow. In the eighth grade went undefeated this year, 42-0 win over Albert Lee in that championship game. Good hey. Cardinals coming up in the program, Ole. That's always good news. It's always good news. That's where we're uh, out at our hockey program out there. We got some young kids coming through our program right yeah. now that we're pretty excited about. And I got to give a shout out quick to quick. a couple of the tired kids at home. Caden and Logan getting ready for bed. <laughs> yeah. 
And Lindsay too, I suppose. Quick out here, catch is made. And querying with the tackle. Does she read them a book before they go to bed? Absolutely. Dr. Seuss? Eh, we like to mix it up once in a while. Red fish, blue fish. Cat in the hat. <laughs> Green eggs and ham. Green eggs and ham. That's a good one. Sam awesome. I am. Sam I am. Sam I am. Second and short. Quick out. And the ball's dropped. And they're going to say it's incomplete and not a lateral. That'll stop the clock. 48-7, Wasika Blue Jays <laughs> leading St. Peter. St. Peter, one and five on the season. They're in our section. Got seven teams in our section, Oli. Only seven? Yeah, last year it was six. So two teams got a bye. Well, and a good job by our defense there. And rack that one up. Colin Stuber. And Thomas Johnson in on the tackle of Ladd, your Cavers Realty, Susie Corsmo replay. Who else is on the bottom of that pile? That, that might have been Dominic Ortiz. Fourth down. Queering dropping back, looking for a kick. Say that name for me. Weston Yada. Yata. A junior kicker. On fourth and five. And a flag will come out naturally. Got more laundry here than the laundromat downtown. And they're going to mark off five here against the Tigers. Bell playing. We'll be hosting Albert Lee next week. Nice wobbly spiral. Querying's going to let a hit. It's going to take a Bell playing bounce and gain a yard. Cards will take over at the Bell playing Tiger. 47 yard line. Ricori leading Hutchison between two 6 0 teams, 16 to 7. A good game there. Couple of yards there. Got your Halloween outfit picked out, Oli? I just threw my old Halloween outfit out here over the summer. Yeah. I used to have a Barney costume. I like that. Lindsay Lumen on Facebook says, hi, Chirp. And of course, Chris. Yeah, there's a bunch of dots before that, though. Yeah. What do you suspect? I'm the afterthought. Yeah. yeah. No emojis there. Wait, maybe there was emo There's some new emojis they got out there. Helen Quintana. I see him. Go Poochie, she says. Number 59, the defensive tackle, Dominic Ortiz. They call him Poochie. Now we got a nickname for Dom. Poochie. I don't see him. Another flag. <laughs> Lee Tesdall. He says, hey, Dave Henson. It wasn't Dave Henson the uh, voice? He's correcting it, Jensen. Oh. Dave Henson, wasn't he the voice of Kermit the Frog and, and the Muppets? Dave Jensen. Jim Henson. Okay, thanks for correcting me in the truck there. That's the Muppet guy. Yeah, but now they got it. He, he, the passed, one with he passed away, so they got a new K Kermit voice. <coughs> uh, Big Bird. First down, Cardinals. Ball on the 34 of 
the Tigers. Hey. Give to the second back and a good play by the defense there. And reading that play. Hines with the carry. The defensive player getting up pretty slow there. Yeah, that was a big hit. He took the brunt of it. Number four. Justin Stoffacher. You got a couple of Stoffachers, huh? Twenty-seven seven cards on top here. Looking to run the clock here. Give up the middle, not much there. I'm gonna bring up third down. Holy cow. Willie giving the play to Kallenbach here on the near sideline. You get a chance to zoom in on number 59 on defense when he's on defense. We're on offense now, cameraman. <laughs> yeah. And give uh, Talking about Maria uh, Liz Ortiz a good shot. Uh, Kallenbach looking deep. There's Quirin and just over the outstretched hands of Wyatt Quirin looking for another touchdown. That stops the clock with 5.13 to go. We got five minutes and 13 seconds on the clock. Pizza due in an estimated five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Query, I'll bring him up here on fourth down. Kallenbach, bubble screen play. Query got a block and uh, the uh, grass vipers got him. That looked promising. Who coined that grass viper? I think it was Cody, wasn't it? I forget. Yeah, yeah Troy Cody. <laughs> he had a lot of sayings. Yeah. So the Tigers hold. They'll take over. I suspect we might get a few new names here. Everything was also cats. Got to get that cat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> See 59 on the sidelines there? Let's point him out. Help, help Bruce there. Yeah. He's down by number 12. You see the K on the track? K? K on the track? You see the K on the track? He just took his helmet off. It goes straight out towards the... Right next. Yeah. Just to, yeah, just there's to the Coach, right at 12. Coach Mahoney right in front of him. Here's a run up the middle. And guess who it is? Mr. Stoffacher. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I'll yell out. Hey, Dom. Turn around, Dom. Pucci? Is it Pucci? Pucci, yeah. Pucci. Yeah. He's had a whale of a game tonight. So is the whole defense. Plus that offensive line there, too. 435 and counting. A couple of backs in the backfield here with Ladd. And they might have a first down. They'll move the chains, stop the clock, and we'll be underway again. Can you yell Dom real loud? I can yell real loud. <laughs> I don't really want to yell real loud. <laughs> About 20, 50, 50 fans will turn around and look a hoo. I think the truck wants me to take the headset off before I do it. Yeah. Well, you cleared your throat there just before I have. Oh, what a hit in the backfield. And a uh, whistle that. Good play there. Yeah, I learned Jordan that. Walter. I learned that trick from my mentor. <laughs> Look at this, Susie Carswell, Cabers Realty replay. <coughs> Jordan Walter. Good play. Timeout by Bell Plain. Hey, if you're looking for Cardinal Sports on the web, check out FairmontSports.com. Cardinal rosters, player photos, game photos. In comes, comes and Mr. Game schedules. Cool. Yep. Number 18 out there. Not a number we call tonight. 
What was that for the Colby card? the goalie. You're right. Hey, I hear they got ice out at the arena. They do. That we do. We had a uh, open skate for uh, members tonight to try to break in the ice a little bit. Who painted it? A uh, company out of Somerset. Somerset, Wisconsin. Second and 12 here for the Tigers. New quarterback in there for the Tigers, number seven. Brandon Taylor. And speaking of this guy. What guy? Our ice making guy, Mike. Mike from Mike. Somerset, Mike Wisconsin. Mike from Somerset, Wisconsin. He is also the ice. He works at the XL Energy Center. He paints the lines at the XL with Center? With the Minnesota Wild. Is that right? And he even said, hey, if you're ever up there, come down to the Zam doors and He'll acknowledge he'll you? Give us a, no, give me a <clears throat> tour, he said. Oh, that'd be cool. He won't let you drive the Zamboni, though. Nah, probably not that one. You've driven one. Though. I have driven the Zamboni. I can yeah. check that off the list. Where's the blinkers on that thing? There's headlights. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes to go. Pizza's arrived. Run up the middle. And what a run by that young fellow for Bell Plain. And... <laughs> And a nuisance call here on the sidelines. <laughs> I think Mahoney's just having fun with him at this point. <laughs> I, yep. I think Mahoney pulled that so does flag. It, does it increment? Does it increment? It starts with zero yards. Does it then five? Does yeah. it go to ten now? No, I think Mahoney just pulled the pulled the uh, pulled the flag out of his pocket to get a call. First down, Tigers, and five extra yards. I might have to look that rule up on the... <laughs> I think I'm just going to start watching the sideline <laughs> for the next two minutes and 51 seconds anyway. Kit. Well, we got number 22 down out there on defense now for the Cardinals, Jacob Tennyson. Number two, Tony Nuss out there. Number 18 is Cody Cole. 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 Yep. New players on both sides of the ball. Here's a big run by the Bell playing. Nuss and makes him stop. Football's being thrown by the Cardinal cheerleaders. Little mini footballs coming into your view there. Hey, way up here. Way up here. Who's got an arm? No, nobody's going to throw it this far. Th throw me one up here. Uh, how are we going to catch it? They're looking at you, Bruce, down there. They're pointing it. We need a football yeah, up come here. on. Hey, yeah, they see us. They see us now. They see us now. Come on. Oh, they're, they're looks like out. they're out. I think they're looks out. Looks like they're Pass out. Pass coming. Tossing the end zone. Tipped away. Good play there. Colby Cool. Colby. Yeah, with the play. Oh boy. There we go. Second and ten. That a boy, Colby. <laughs> boy, that. Uh, Colby's mom and dad sitting right below us here. Scott Cool. <laughs> Two minutes to go. And official time clock on the field, two minutes. I think I see, I see one minute, 59 see, see seconds. See that guy two. there with the pocket watch? Yeah, and the, yeah, and the yeah. penalty flag that's, that keeps falling okay, on the sideline? Yeah. <laughs> As just, a tie, there tie, you go rounding. You rounded yeah, yeah, yeah. it to two. It's 159. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get those cheerleaders for me, Bruce. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty sure that clock says 159. No, but there's an official clock oh, on no, the field, too. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No. That's two minutes. I apologize yeah. to anybody that's still listening to us. Here we go. <laughs> Let's read those. Here we go. What are we reading? Amy, Amy Wynicke, Shelby, Shelby Wright. So. <laughs> Stephanie Young. Do this in yeah, you go every other one. Every Shelby, other? Sh Stephanie Young. Uh, Audriana Lewison. All right. Brianna Nishimori. Faith Haley. 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 Taylor Rank. Haley Bricks. Haley Myers. Jacqueline Rachel. Josie Varvancourt. Leah Peterson. Lily Stuber. Maddie Militello. Mackenzie Johnson. And Nika Campbell. Nika. Nika. The Knights of Knee. What? Knee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
No, Number 24 hungry. wraps up the play, and guess what? Laundry on the other side of the field. Hey, we have a flag. Who knew? Way, way over there. Well, now though, their coaches are getting too close to the field. <laughs> yes, I Get think they're back. <laughs> a makeup call. Illegal procedure. Speaking of grazing and uh, coming from the truck there. <laughs> Cardinals hold on here, which is a pretty good chance. We'll go to six and one on the season. And they'll be on the road at New Alm. The ball's on the ground, and the Cardinals look like they have it covered on third down. The official's right there for the call. Wyatt Frank, yeah, and he's going to say fourth down. No. So I, uh, hey, let the clock run. But they kept the yellow flags in their pockets. That they did. Mm, there goes the chopper. Well, hope, hopefully nobody's... A board is somebody we know, and if it is, we hope the best for whoever's for on whoever that. Whoever is on that. You know. It's good that Mayo has something like that here in town. Absolutely. Down to 45 seconds and counting. We might make it. We might make it. Big question is, are we going to take everything down and then go, or are we going yeah, straight we're down? We're going. We're going. <laughs> oh, a mix up in the backfield, and the cards will take over. That'll stop the clock. <laughs> hey, and the I cards. think Bell playing better use all three timeouts here coming up. <laughs> yeah. Justin Michael, Freddie from Park Rapids checking in. And we got three smiley faces from Lindsay Lumen. Thanks, Lindsay. Mr. Justin. Yeah, got him in bed. She says I am. I don't know what I am is. I am. What's Pay I am? I am big. I think it's I am. am. Iambic pentameter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we finally take a knee. There's no flags. <laughs> hey, we got to pick a ranch player of the game. We'll be thinking about that as the clock is going to run out here on the Tigers, and the Cardinals will win 27-7. Schwieger with a touchdown to start it off in the second quarter. From 38 yards out, pass from Kallenbach. Ladd tied it up for the Tigers, their only score. Huey had a 39-yard run. They made a 14-7 in the second quarter. Three-yard run by Kallenbach. Made it 20-7. And Wyatt Queering with the only score here in the second half. A 68-yard pass from Kallenbach. Hey, we'll take a break, and we'll be back. I think I'll take my favorite doll to my favorite place. Uh, let me give her a call. When you're feeling hungry and you want to eat, let me tell you about the place that can't be beat. You can have it cold, you can have it hot. You get it piled high, but you don't pay a lot. Oh, baby, when you give us a try, you're bound to see why you'll always come back. The Ranch Restaurant, 1330 North State Street on Highway 15. Welcome back to Mahoney Field. The Cardinals victorious tonight over the Bell Plain Tigers, 27-7. And our ranch player of the game, and there he is, says the cameraman, number six there with the golden spikes and the golden arm. Two touchdown passes tonight, one to Trigger, one to Query, and a three-yard touchdown run, and a couple of big punts for the young man. We'll make sure Nate gets his... Ranch gift certificate. Yeah. Good job, John, bringing up that graphic. Cardinals now 6 and 1 on the season. MEA week. The next game will be against New Alm Wednesday, October 18th. That's a Wednesday night. And that'll be on the road at New Alm. Bell playing. Goes to 3 and 4 on the season. And they'll be playing Wednesday night also at home against Albert Lee. 
Hey, Oli, good job tonight. Yeah, you too, Chirp, as always. And I want to thank all our proud supporters of Cardinal Youth Activities, along with the guys in the truck, and John the Tech Guy, Nick Cress on the replays, State Farm and Cavers Realty, and Preston Anderson. A great job, and Avery Verleger helping out tonight also. Final score from Mahoney Field, 27-7. The Cards win here over the Belle Plaine Tigers. Hey, this has been Chirp, Stay on the Planet.